why you need to take the advantage of buying a property right now in this current market rather than wait for next year or the following year. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, your local incredible realtor with EXP Realty. Today, I'm gonna give you my best knowledge why you need to take the advantage of buying a property right now in this current market rather than wait for next year or the following year. So if this is you, make sure to watch this video from this start till the end so that you will have an idea if you wanna wait next year or you should buy it right now. But before I start this video, if you're new to my channel, welcome, please subscribe if you haven't done so. The most important thing, you know that, smash that like button for me and share this video to all your family friends especially for those people or person who's in defense of buying a property right now or wait until later so without further ado let's jump into it so number one reason why you need to buy a property right now even though the interest rate is quite high is the less competition okay so when you are buying not just about real estate when you are buying in general they are called a supply and demand okay so same thing in real estate if you are buying a property in real estate there is a always a demand and also flight the demand is you the buyer okay who wants to buy a property especially to live in and the supply obviously is the real estate like the something that you are going to buy or you're going to purchase so this is the situation right now in our current market especially here in real estate so in the market right now in real estate we have a quiet view out there that's selling the property so it means like we have a inventory like a property that they want to sell right because the interest rate is quite high so what will happen is the buyer like you doesn't want to move or doesn't want to buy a real estate right now why because they think like the interest rate they are paying now let's say the interest rate between six percent to seven percent right what will happen is if you're gonna buy the property right now within six percent or seven percent whatever your interest rate to lock in will be your mortgage for 30 years right so let's say you lock in for 6.5 percent interest rate right now and the property price of the you want to buy is around four hundred thousand dollars that's the only for example okay so let's say the four hundred thousand dollars and you have a less competition it means like nobody wants to buy a property right now because of the interest rate so what will happen is all the favors is to you to the buyers who wants to buy a property because they need to sell this property and if they don't sell this property obviously the one who's selling the property they have paid their mortgage or whatever they need for the money right so what what will happen is the property that they are putting or what is on the market and it's been there for a while obviously they want to sell this property they will give favor to you because it's not much people who wants to buy a property right now due to high interest rate right so what will happen as you a buyer when i said before the less competition you can ad take advantage of this current market what you can do is like when you're buying this property that you really like instead of paying four hundred thousand, you can negotiate okay and by negotiating what you can do as you as a buyer you need to do a concession or let's say if you don't want to do a concession you can ask for something let's say they are asking for 400,000 property the price of the property what you can do is either you can give the 400,000 or you can negotiate less than 400,000 instead of paying 400,000 you can negotiate to 390,000 so that you can save $10,000 on that one okay or if you don't want to save like ten thousand dollars on the property of four hundred thousand you can give the four hundred thousand as, as asking price for the property and if you have a good realtor can help you something like me <laughs> you can or we can negotiate your closing costs let's say to the seller we want to buy this property if the asking price is four hundred thousand we will give you four hundred thousand as long as you can give us a closing cost on your property how much closing cost that you can ask it depends on your situation okay if your loan is like fha you can have as many or as much as you can for the closing costs you can ask for ten thousand closing costs you can ask for fifteen thousand or twenty thousand closing costs okay however if you are in conventional loan you need to consider of only three percent of closing costs but you need to double check that with your lender because sometimes when you are asking for closing costs it depends on the loan structure and also it depends on your loan rules and it 
depends on your loan disclosure as well that you need to follow if you are allowed on such amount of closing costs that the seller will pay you okay so most likely when you ask this offer and then you ask him for concession they most likely i will accept it because there's no much competition as i said earlier right so that's a good thing when you are buying a property right now instead of waiting till next year this is what will happen when you buy the property next year or the following year when the interest rate go down a little bit and this is what will happen or worst case scenario for you let's say you wait for the interest rate to go down a little bit and what will happen is instead of paying six percent interest rate right now and it gone down let's say to four percent for the next year or a couple of years and then you're still paying or wants to buy property which is priced from now for hundred thousand probably next year or two years time the property that you want to buy with four hundred thousand has gone up because of the real estate as you know the real estate the value of real estate is always go up so what will happen is instead of paying four hundred thousand that property probably costs four hundred ten thousand or four hundred twenty thousand that's probably the current market on that particular property that you want to buy now and then after they put the market price for let's say four hundred ten thousand since because the interest rate is low what will happen is people wants to buy property so let's say oh we are going to buy at four hundred thousand price property and the interest rate is low so what will happen is people will thinking like you as a buyer they will ask for this property to buy now buy on that current interest rate and another buyer wants to buy another one and another buyer wants to buy another one so what will happen is they will receive a multiple offers and then what will happen if they have received multiple offers you have a lot of competition and then what will happen is you need to throw more money on the price of property because you will end up going to bid this property let's say the seller is selling for four hundred thousand two years after that you want to buy for only for four hundred thousand right so this four hundred ten thousand some people will put four hundred ten thousand another buyer will put four hundred fifteen thousand another buyer will put four hundred and twenty thousand and so on because they want to buy a property on that current market which is the interest rate is low so that you have more competition it means like or the tendency is like you need to pay more money rather than buying right now when no one's buying the property you have less competition and then this is what the thing that you can do let's say you lock for six percent right now you bought the property for four hundred thousand and you are paying let's say for two thousand five hundred for your mortgage or three thousand for your mortgage what you can do the following year or the following two years when the interest rate go down to four percent or lesser what you can do is refinance the property so what will happen when you refinance the property instead of paying two thousand five hundred or three thousand five hundred on six percent interest rate and then once you refinance it when the interest rate go down you can have the interest rate whatever in that current market in the future that either gonna be three percent four percent or five percent you know who knows but at least you lock the property that you want to buy and you didn't pay more on the price wise because there are less competition right i hope that makes sense so for the bonus one i want to say here if you are going to buy the property right now is you have more options as well let's say if you want to buy a property not just about the resale or you want to buy a new construction as you know i'm specializing in new construction what most new construction does is like they are giving you a promotional interest rate okay instead of paying like let's say six percent or seven percent the lender of the new construction who's building the property for you will give you some incentive for promotional rate sometimes they give you 5.5 interest rate sometimes they give you low and also not just like that they will also give you closing costs they are only giving this incentive or concession right now because there's no much demand they need to sell property we need some sale so they need to make some sale so by doing that they are giving the people or the buyers this much incentive because once the interest rate go down again here what will happen in the new construction industry they will remove all this interest rate or in this concession as remember as i said before instead of paying x amount of property right now in the next year or next few years the property will go value is up once again you need to pay or you need to bid on the property instead of paying 400 you probably end up paying 405 410 15 and more right so this is the video for today i hope this video is helpful i know this video is too long but if you found this value or if you found this helpful and watch this video until this end comment down below sold so how can i see how many people who wants to buy a property and get sold with this video right so until next
next time, I'll see you on my next video. Once again, for watching. Peace. What is going on, guys? This is... Excuse me. <laughs> let's do... Let's do a part two. <laughs>